to the glory of God. We appreciate the praise for disseminating the words of God as contained in the prophetic message. I take particular note of the people from Lagos Weekend newspaper who work with us and help us the work of God at inception. It was Mr. Sam Okwa at, of Weekend Times that first pre presented the prophecy from the church to the world. At that time, newspapers were very few. It was Lagos Weekend then that we classify as a soft cell magazine that we have today. Another newspaper was Daily Sketch and others. I want to say that God in various ways have used this, work, this book for many people, government and companies to enable them know about God's plan for the year. By the grace of God, the publication will be 27 next year. Then we are going to celebrate it a bit louder. We shall empower press men and their wives, and I promise that the families of the late press men will be assisted, as also, as assisted also. We are grateful for your attention and for coming to present these messages to the global world. Today our celebration ought to be more than this but because of COVID-19 protocols. Please feel free to ask questions as God will always give me the courage to defend the content. Today there is crisis in the world. We need God so to reduce the challenges we are facing today. We also need God by moving away from our sins. We appreciate the Almighty God who started with us. Many thanks to the members of Inri family who are at home abroad definitely. Say these people, I cannot name them now. Name them. I thank members of the editorial team and those who work on compi compilations. Nigeria as a country needs prayers. We need more prayers for election coming up in Edo Undo states. We also commit the coming election in Abara Oshun in the hands of God. These are elections that will come before 2023 elections. Please look at the book or if there's any other things that just agitate your mind at feel free free question, ask questions. We are expecting election in the United States and some other nations of the world. Let us commit everything into the hands of God. Thanks for coming during this terrible time in the world and Nigeria. We appreciate you all. Thanks for coming. To the glory of God, the first prophet in the world that will present compilation fulfilled Ten, more than 10,000 prophecy. This is the book of the prophecy that compiled 10,000 plus that have been fulfilled. Fulfilled. When I say fulfilled, I mean fulfilled. This is the 10,000 fulfilled prophecy that no any other prophet in the world has ever compiled. I present this to you in the name of our Lord God and to humanity that to your understanding when you read you will see and God will open your eyes to understand. The main book, Warnings to the Nation Collection of Divine Signal 2021-2022 edition, published since 1994, um, Divine Revelation through the Servant of God. I present this to all the press men that are here and to the glory of God. Um, <clears throat> on this note, let us sit down. On this note, um, maybe because of the process now, the new thing about the world, maybe we should, I should send it to your email and the few that are here, you can read through. Then, I give you this. 
Please come and take one after the other. Thank you. Then this is the book. But that one is finished. They will bring more. Sit down, please. They will give, come and give you. Let's sit down, please. Then you distribute. Any other person? Send it to your email immediately. But for those that are here, you can have the. Then the rest, you have it in your email, please. you can scan through please and you can ask your questions hello questions please let's give you five minutes to scan through If you have any question, just signify so that I can give you the mic.
you know, viral on the media. To you as a man of God, do you, are you of the assertion that the law was deliberately to target some churches in the country as some people are speculating? What is your take on this? Thank you so much. <clears throat> one of the one of the mistakes that this government will make is to poke nose into church affair. Spiritual rules the, the physical. And uh, when you have a government who does not fear God, I've said it early part, and when you go into that book, you read deeply, you will see where I said that government will fight church and even mosque. It's not, it's, it's, it's very impossible to see the success of Kama law. Because in my own church now, nobody, no government, who tells me that he bought me this land, run the affair of the church for me. The affair of church is professional. It's, it's defined. It's going to be a very, a, a big mistake for this government. And this can ruin the government as well. Because the government wanted to fight God when they don't even know right from left. They have not even said to Nigeria. fight the government with my fasting because it is wrong that is why I said that we don't have a body that regulates the, 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 the Christianity which is can we need people who are very proactive people who are focused people who understand the rules and the rudiments in the system if uh, Christianity is To the less privilege, we have about nothing like about six thousand people that we take care of. So if the government
government is not taking any advantage. It's because when you have someone who is not active, someone who cannot stand his ground, someone because of the tips they give you on a monthly basis, then they will be able to control you anyhow. So government is right to bring out the law, just to test God, that God is one that will fight. I don't believe in the leadership of Khan, who has failed the nation, who have people like us. I don't believe in them. So that's why I don't belong to Khan, no PFN, because they don't have the stamina, they don't have the strength, and they are not doing what is right. So that's the bold answer to my question. So how can we get the, 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 the proactive uh, leaders to lead the, the, the Thank construction? you so much. Let them do it like a ele general election, like democratic election. But you know, they have this, the selected ones who attend their meeting. And when they attend their meeting, they will know who and who they wanted to use for their purpose. So government understands what it takes to have can in their pocket. There's only like can. It's just an expression of when you take your can mod, when you finish it, and you throw it away. That is the meaning of can. Empty barrels. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, so I want to take it to, uh, from the angle of insecurity in Nigeria. Uh, now, I served in Meduguri and I passed out just last month. And we were faced with a lot of insecurity, Boko Haram attack. And then coming down to Lagos here, the issue of Saran Kaduna started. So I want to know, is there any proactive measure the Holy Spirit is giving which will bring an end to insecurity in Nigeria? Buhari is, is the problem of our security. President Buhari, who is an ex-general, who does not understand the troubles that we are facing. First and foremost, to find the solution, he must sack all the service chiefs. Before serving the service chiefs, what are the problems in South Africa? Sandra Kanduna problem is political. To fight the Christian, but nobody will tell you the truth. The Islamic people, they continue to back themselves to be killing Christians. No Muslim love Christian. That is the truth. No Muslims who love the Christians when they love Christian, there's a limitation to this. So, Sada Kadena issue is have become a recorded decimal in the history of this country. Only God, and it's when God is ready now to break the nation, that is when we have solution. But at this junction, President Buhari doesn't understand the, 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 the problems we are facing about the security of this nation. If he knows this, he will have look at this abusive they are exhausted. They, don't, they have nothing again to give to the nation. So we continue to have all of this. And when you say the truth, this government doesn't want anybody to say the truth. They want to keep people silent. And if you are saying the right thing, they, will, they, they are confused. The government is confused. Until God decides on this nation. We need God to decide on the nation. We don't need to hide our truth. Let's say the truth once and for all. That's why there's no men of God who are out there to say the truth the way it's supposed to be. Everybody wants to say, no, 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 no. Nay, no, uh, not. It's this, it's that. You see that Baba Adeboye? He will never say the
leader of Christian Association of Nigeria. Thank you. Good afternoon. I want to commend you for what you have done. It's not easy to... I want to commend you for what you have done. Thank the you, The book sir. you have released. It's not easy to churn out 10,000 fulfilled prophecies. Beyond 10,000, sir. Beyond. Beyond. Yes, oh, sir. Thank you very much. Um, I want to also bring us to Mali. We all are aware of what's happening there. Yes, sir. I want to ask you, what has the Lord shown you in terms of how the issues will be resolved? Thank you. Thank you so much for that question. Um, the Mali problems, if 10,000 of ECOWAS come together to find solution, if they don't get to the, to the root of the solution, the problems in Mali will still persist. It's just uh, uh, the, the, a way of coupling uh, what do you call uh, uh, Godfatherism? The issue there is about Godfatherism, and uh, if they are not, if it's not well addressed, then the issue of Mali will still be, will still, will, will still be on. Then the solution is maybe they take another, another election. With the another election, I think that may give a proper solution to what is going on in Mali. A proper solution to that. Let them have. The, the, so the, the juntas have taken the right step in order to promote peace. And uh, these are good soldiers. They know that that is the right thing to do. May I will not condemn what the soldiers have done. They have done it well so that they will now sit down and do what the people, people want. In Nigeria, it's impossible. All right. Uh, good morning, uh, the prophet of the Most High and the gentleman of the press. My name is Monday Samba. Yeah, I want to quote from the page 306 of this book. This one got to do with uh, Western uh, security operation, I'm going in particular, sir. Uh, you said in this book that the effort of this group will be frustrated. Now, going by this, do you see anything good coming out of this operation, I'm Do you see it not being uh, politicized as time goes by, sir? Thank you. Thank you so much. Operation I'm is a good... It's a good uh, security outfit, but quite unfortunate that uh, it, it doesn't have longevity. Because at the, at, the, at the end of the day, you will see different things. Even the Amotekun themselves, they will also be Amotekun to terrorize people. So the Amotekun is a good idea, but uh, the people who are behind it did not look at it very deeply. The in-depth of it, they didn't get it. So that's why Amotekun is going to be a uh, uh, temporary uh, uh, thing. Uh, in later future, you will see another Amotekun against Amotekun. Good morning, sir. Uh, my question is this. You said something about Mali, and you said that, but in Nigeria, it cannot happen. Or in Nigeria, the military cannot do it. Are you invariably saying the Nigerian military is actually uh, their, their complicity uh, or their negligence is actually spreading corruption in Nigeria. Of course, there's a corruption in military. Yes. And again, coming to the fight of Biafra, Nigeria, and whatever, do you see any future for the Biafrans? And do you think they are fighting for the right cause? Thank you, sir. Well, I am not a politician who gives opinion. I'm a man of God. I only say within the limit of my directions. The point is this. Nigeria will break. Time and when, I don't know. So maybe that one will now bring the actualization of Biafra. That is that the corruption in NDDC or the Niger Delta, whatever. Uh, the normal thing we should know is from the minister to the last person. So normally, I'm talking as a normal person now, as a normal person, you should have sacked the people. Or even the minister is supposed to have resigned. It's Nigeria when you see somebody who corrupt and we still be fighting corruption, they're like, let's go to court. Nobody can remove me. Is this, is that. We'll be proving what is, ne what, what is not necessary. In the Western world, when you are indicted of corruption, First and foremost, 
you will step down or step aside. Then from there, you start fighting. But in Nigeria, it's impossible. It's impossible. Instead, the people who corrupt will still win you if you take them to court because they have the money. So corruption have come to stay in Nigeria. Only God will help us to fight the corruption. Only God. If, 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 if the principal is not corrupt, what of the people? There's corruption in Buhari's government. And I've said it, that Buhari cannot fight corruption as we are expecting. Thank you. Hello, sir. No, now, let's, we have, you have been asking too much questions. No, just one, just this one, okay. sir. <laughs> just this one, sir. Now, the burning uh, issue that in Nigeria politics now is uh, the Edo election and the Ekide election. Right. You specifically said that uh, Obaseke might likely win the election, but there are some hiccups that you have to contend with. My question is this. If presidential Obaseki was re-elected, do you see him going back to the APC? What is the system? That one want to know. Thank you so much. The thing is this, and uh, let's be straight. Straight word. Without, without, with free and fair election, give it to Obaseki, I repeat. Free and fair election. But I see manipulation that they may use to ease out Obaseki. And if he knows what he's doing, just like what happened in Bayeza, can still happen there. In Ondo State, either it's free or it's not free, give it back to Akiri Dolu. Which one? Which one? I think that's... And uh, in... Uh, Bayesa, um, there's no stress for the incumbent governor. He will just do what is right. He will still go back. The 90 days, whatever, there's no stress for him. He's still going to remain PDP. I think these are the quest likely questions you want to know. So Bayesa, I'm sorry, uh, 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 Edo State is the most important one. Without manipulation, give it to Obaseki. But there will be frustration fighting, bloodbath, that they want to forcefully put um, uh, Eze Yamo. But Obaseki going back to PDP, that will be after the election, we'll talk about that. But the main thing is, who wins the election? Without manipulation, straight election, nothing else, give it to Obaseki. But under frustration and the manipulation, then you give it back to Eze Yamo. A lot. Then he waits. And this one will determine our 2023. Because mighty will fall towards 2023. In accept of no other questions, I want to sincerely thank you for coming. Our 27 year anniversary is going to be myself and press alone. That is going to be an, uh, a form of empowerment. We know some of our press friend who, who, have, who are late uh, we are going to remember their family by doing little we can do for them and they also um, remember all the press who have been giving us assistance I want to make this note prophecy is not the way you report your political news note that me I don't say don't criticize you are free to use your pen to write anything but every glory to God Almighty. Prophecy, when you said this, if I can pray, I can avert the prophecy. But I will see the sign. But Nigerian press will tell you, no, 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 no. It's just when we said, Oshimale will be removed. So I said, no, 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 he cannot be removed. Uh, this is what is going to happen. He will heal out Obaseki from APC. When all of this happened, Glory is not for me. The glory is to the Lord Almighty who have sent us the message. And I still want to say this. You don't treat prophecy like the way you treat your nutrition book or the way you, you read your newspapers. I said something again. I said, in most states, the governor will still go to the Supreme Court. If it doesn't sit well, if it doesn't sit well, do what is needful. The Supreme Court might remove him all. But if he put his papers straight, no problems. 
But if he doesn't sit well and do what is right, that is my statement. Nobody to judge that statement. Nobody. That is the word of God. That is the way God said it. It's warnings. It's not that, no, I'm coming. This thing must happen. Nah, 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 nah. It's for those that God loves. He warns. Ah, please, so be careful. That seat you are is dangerous. So please do fasting and prayer to avoid the, to avoid the impediment doom. But if you want to report it, you will say that. I already said that. You will die. Just for you to sell your paper. And I've never said so. It's warnings. Be careful. Or if I already said, oh, it's Yakubu, Yakubu. They will believe that I already have collected money from Yakubu. That's why he's mentioning Yakubu's name. And that's what we call prophet. When we said in 2016 that this thing is between Boroughface and Akredolu, that if APC wanted to win, and we said it in the kitty, APC wanted to win, let them give it to Oni or Fayemi. And they, they, they took advantage of that and give it to one of them. But if you now start mentioning one name, they say, no, 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 he has collected money. Which money? If I have collected money, you will see it. I will not even come to defend anybody. There's a way I'm going to say it. So let us get this thing right. Giving prophecy is not an easy tax. Compilation of 10,000. We have almost more than 10,000 prophecies that have been fulfilled from 1994 to date. So somebody now put it together. We are not selling it. It's free. You will look at how much it's going to take to do all of this. So the point is, if there is a way we can put our words straight and look at how to put your capsule, like I repeat again, he must state, if the man did not sit very well and put his record straight, the Supreme Court that put him there will remove him again. That is the word. In Edo, no manipulation. Give it to Baseki. But Manipulation, my manipulator but like out of the way if care is not taken. If doesn't put it, put his plans properly. In you know, Ondo, either manipulation or no manipulation, give it back to Akere Dolu. In, in Anambra 2020, 2022, I tell you this APC will not win. In Anambra, even if Ingigi, Tinubu, Buari go there to contest, they will not win. So that is the word. But if you get there now, they say, I already said, see, Anambra, APC will die. They will not come up again. That's not what I said, though. So let's minimize the word of prophecy. It is not political. So once again, I want to thank you for coming. I said, I want to tell you that I have nothing to give you than the grace of God, which is the ultimate. And I want to thank you for your love and your concern at all times. You have all become my family, except those that I'm just seeing for the first time. The people are with us for the past nine years, 10 years, 12 years. We are supposed to appreciate them. Let's wait till next year. I want to tell you that I will continue to humble myself anytime you call me at my number, except I'm not available. We always answered you with your questions. And I want to thank you so much for promoting this work. And God Almighty will bless you as well. Help your media houses and give you, grant you your own personal heart desires and protect your family. I am extremely grateful for your support at all times. And God, will, God Almighty will help you at the point of your needs. Let us stand up. I don't know if you have a Muslim, Islamic uh, person there to come and pray for us. I want the press to pray for us. Any Islamic scholar there? Thank you. Salut ala nabi kege. My name is Kudus Adewale. Bismillah min ash-shaitan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah wa akbar. Allah wa akbar. Allah wa akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allah wa akbar. Allah wa akbar. Wa lillahi alhamdu. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Wa lillahi lihamdu 
Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I most like once again we appreciate it for a moment like this. Thank you, Lord, for our gathering. Thank you, Lord, for your servants. Thank you for his, for his love for, for this nation. We appreciate it, Father, as a thanks, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for what you have been using your servants to do. Thank you, Lord, for making me a promoter for this nation. We bless your name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We commit what we have gathered here into your hands, O Lord God. We pray that you use for your own purpose in the name of Jesus. The prophet that released his word, Lord God, we pray with all force in the ground in the name of Jesus. We pray that the Lord will love this country and restore peace back in this country in the name of Jesus. We we'll commit this ministry into the hands of the Lord. We pray that the oil of the Lord will not dry upon your servants in the name of Jesus. All of the things that has been doing, the Lord will continue to bless in the name of Jesus. I pray for our colleagues who also. The Lord will meet your desires in the name of Jesus. Everything you are trusting God for personally, even your organization, the Lord will do them in the name of Jesus. Thank because of answer, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. So if you want to have one-on-one, -on -one, we'll give you time. And as usual, you want to have a personal talk, then we'll give you time to do all of that. So you meet me when you write your name, they bring you up. Thank you. I'm living God. There is no one like you, don't. Mm. 